meteorologist Bill Ranby with your accurate weather now forecast. Ranby factor time for Tuesday. I give it a two, a horrible morning for sure to be outside where it's going to be colder. It's going to be below freezing. It's going to be in the 20s. The wind is going to be very strong from the northwest. We'll have had several inches of snow still overnight causing blowing and drifting conditions in some areas have seen nearly a foot of snow already out to the west of us. There's parts of Dodge County and Colfax County and Cumming County, Stanton County, Platt County, this area right here. Everybody has this winter storm warning. I wouldn't be that surprised if some of these areas overnight and into the morning, maybe York County, Seward, Saline County, Jefferson County, Lancaster County, we get a blizzard warning issued there with the combination of the snow that's fallen, the snow that's going to fall, and also the strong wind out of the northwest. This is an animation of the National Weather Service's radar over the last hour. There's a little drier air in southeast Nebraska that keeps on sort of trying to work up, but notice how the snow has expanded over all of Omaha. This is all snow, by the way. And then out to the west along I-80 here, really filled back in over Lincoln, snowing hard there. And then these areas out here that have had the very heavy snow, it's snowing hard out there again as well. So the totals, I mean, it's, it's going to be a foot out here. Beatrice down toward Pawnee City, Columbus up to West Point and uh, 10, 15 miles either side of that line. Omaha, the amounts are going to be lighter. In particular, right around downtown and Epley Airfield and Council Bluffs where the temperatures have been warmer. These areas are probably going to be in the four inch range, but there'll be some spots outside of Omaha into western Iowa that get five or six inches of snow and the snow is yet to pick up really across northwest Missouri, but it will. This is a forecast going forward, so additional snow from this point is what this model is trying to forecast an inch by one in the morning, another couple of inches by 5 a.m. and another almost inch. So it says from this point forward, 3.8 more in Omaha, two more in Lincoln, uh, just under an inch more in Norfolk. And you see western parts of Iowa here, nearly five inches more in Creston. So lots to follow. And this is a guide. This doesn't mean this is exactly how it's going to work out. But here's our computer model, 10 o'clock tonight. This is the indication of the drier air, the better snow uh, for the time being. See how the dryer sort of works up into southwest Iowa, but the band is heavier over the Omaha Metro. Heavier still at 1 a.m. 2.30, we start to lose some of the deeper blues across a larger area, but could still be heavier right over Omaha. The back edge working out of Fremont and out of Wahoo, but doesn't end in Omaha until perhaps after the morning drive. And the clouds are around and still a few flurries in southwest Iowa and the snow band stronger from Des Moines to Creston and down to Lamoni. And then one o'clock, we're gonna have these strong northwest winds. We may get some sun in the afternoon, but the strong northwest wind will cause substantial blowing and drifting snow as we go through. And then tomorrow night, uh, skies are mostly clear, so it's cold. The temperatures haven't moved much today. 29 the low, that was uh, like midnight last night. 34 the high, we were there all afternoon and that limited the snowfall at Omaha Zeppelin Airfield. Now it's been 2100 or of an inch of moisture, which would have been 2.1 inches of snow, but Epley Airfield probably only an inch, but you get to Western Douglas County. There's probably been four inches already. Uh, that'll help our monthly total. This is 90th and Dodge and you know, it's been treated and the traffic is just so prolific there that it's still just wet here at 90th and Dodge. Our camera at the American National Bank, 33 Northeast breeze at 10. Uh, temperatures are cooling a bit now, 32 Harlan, Atlantic, 33 Epley and Tecama and Lincoln, but in the low 20s out here to the northwest of us, and that's where the wind is stronger, starting to come around to the north, Fremont and Lincoln. You see the gusts, 20 in Omaha, but 35 in Columbus, and we anticipate gusts of 35 to 40 overnight, crossing I-80 around Lincoln, rural areas, particularly tough. Again, here's the snow. Here's the drier air working right into here and that band of snow over the Omaha Metro. See how that's filled in over the last couple of hours here. And that's going to be with us overnight for a good chunk of the night. And the surface low itself and the storm system farther south, but as this turns into Missouri, we'll get more of that northwest wind blowing in here and so worse travel conditions. Overnight tonight, it's still a severe winter impact. Uh, two to four, some areas, most areas, two or three more inches to go, certainly around Omaha. 
Uh, the winds late, blowing snow, blowing snow for the morning, blowing snow for noontime. Partly cloudy at 5 o'clock. Temperatures going backwards, and I mean really a rough morning around here. Partly cloudy on Wednesday and up to 30. Thursday, another cold front and another burst of light to moderate snow possible later Thursday, Thursday night, Friday, and into Friday night. There could be a few inches of snow in that, and you know, if we have a solid snow cover all across Nebraska and Iowa, I mean, it really sets the stage for a severe deep freeze right. mm -hmm. in the weekend and next week. We're going to be locked in. Looks like it. Okay, thanks, Bill. Remember, we're updating those school closings as.